G'day, how you going? So today is yes or no. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of a photo journalism, pho photo photographic journalism this weekend, <laughs> and to start off my uh, little project as a photo journalist because uh, amateur. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but today is Aboriginal um, Decision Day for yes or no. And what we do in Australia, we vote. Jerry, hey, yeah, Jerry, Jerry's with me, and we're going to go vote at the local school. The way you do it in Australia is you have to vote. It's by law. If you don't vote, um, you get fined. I don't know how much money, but you get fined if you don't vote. So it's mandatory to vote. I know in a lot of countries, people are like will be going, what the hell man, especially a USA I guess, they'll be thinking, Jerry what's the matter, you don't want to go this way, you don't want to vote, see Jerry doesn't want to vote, hey Jerry, hmm? you think it's stupid, hmm? why should we vote, it's a democratic society, we should have a choice to vote or not to vote, <laughs> well that's what they say in, 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 in America anyway I think, why do you have to vote, why is it, why do you get fined? You should have the democratic right not to vote. It's a pretty bad accent. But anyway, stiff shit. Um, I have to vote and that's the way it is. So in Australia. This is the school that I went to. <laughs> so this is uh, what it's all about. Vote no to the voice of division. Oh, that's the no vote. The yes vote is vote yes for a better future. I'm not sure what the hell um, it's all about. <laughs> I read a little bit about it and something to do with a voice. <laughs> no shit. No shit, Jerry. A voice. That's what it's called. The voice. Where the voice. Try and understand it. Uh, no one understands it. That's the problem. So there's a celebrity here. <laughs> well political celebrity that's uh, Chris Bowen treasurer well he was the treasurer under the previous Labor government anyway he's like right up there with the Prime Minister so he's they just hand out pamphlets so your local because he's the local representative for Smithfield and then for when you normally vote this is different this is like a referendum this only comes around every whenever they want to ask Australia something um, and they have to by law to ask everyone yes or no or I think the last one was should we kick the Queen out <laughs> should we become a a republic instead of a monarchy that was the last referendum and we all know what happened there <clears throat> nothing <laughs> we're still a monarchy now we but now we've got King Charles King Charlie, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. <clears throat> King Charlie. Anyway, yeah. I try to take a photo of him. It's a bit, bit nerve-wracking because he's a celebrity. <clears throat> I turn into a paparazzi photographer. Federal police just came up to me. I was like, what the? F <laughs> he freaked me out. <coughs> he was alright, he just wanted to know what the hell I was doing. That's like full on federal police, not the normal police, the federal police. And I'm like, what are you here for? I think, he, yeah, obviously he's here for Chris Bowen's security, I guess, uh, events like that. But he, yeah, so there you go, politicians, if you're big enough, you get a federal copper. Uh, with you, so <laughs> anyway, he come up and started chatting to me. I just started talking, just shit about, you know, he was all right. 
I just said to him, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to be a, um, a famous YouTuber. And <laughs> no, I just said, um, I'm just practicing photojournalism and just mucking around. He goes, oh, that's all right. <clears throat> then we started talking about the, the, the law, uh, what you can and all that. I've done a whole video on that about uh, what um, the rules are and the legality of uh, photography. Uh, you know, you've got to be on public space and all that. So, yeah, that was interesting. Freaked me out. Showed me his badge and everything. I thought I was going to get arrested. <laughs> the feds. I, I even mentioned to him, did you come over because of that? <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have... I guess anyone loitering around with a bazooka. Uh, by the way, the uh, EM-1 uh, Mark II with a, a 14 to 150 probably the perfect uh, photojournalistic lens you got the whole wide reach feds eh? feds federal police <clears throat> they must have seen me uh, he saw me he saw this and he went oh yeah here we go <laughs> at least i look important enough for the federal police to come up and say what the hell are you doing jerry what's the matter huh? you had enough photography you catch the flies jerry hmm? yes you catch the flies jerry Hey, you catch the flies, mama. Anyway, not much of an event, really. I mean, I'm just hanging out the front of a voting poll, taking photos, so... But it's a good little first-time practice. Uh, so, you know, I was a little freaked out by the um, federal police coming up to me. So it just goes to show, there you go. They see someone, you know, with a camera like that, maybe in... Maybe because I was just loitering. If you loiter outside of a, a school with a major politician there. I guess the federal police are gonna, you know, wanna come up to you. Hey, Jerry. <coughs> Jerry, hey, Jerry. Uh, pff, bloody flies. So, I'm gonna try, um, now that I've got my feet wet with um, this, I'm gonna try, um, the Palestinian um, rally march tomorrow in Hyde Park so Jerry can't come tomorrow hey Jerry you can't come tomorrow because it's gonna be dangerous so it might be a little bit dangerous tomorrow so make sure you like and subscribe and tune in because you never know what the hell is gonna happen I want to um, document and photograph the rally the protest march for the Palestinian thing so, yeah so thanks a lot I'll um, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Yo, 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 yo,